A lot of times what happens is we get in trouble and we don't know why. Now let me ask you, what, what did you get in trouble? Me and my wife got into it. You and your wife got this into my it? My wife and you know some things been going on within the house. Mm -hmm. And stuff like that. And she's been holding grudges and holding things with since past relationships before we even got married and carried on to our relationship. Okay. And just escalated and got big and whatever. And her daddy came. He was threatening me on the phone, talking about what he gonna do to me because me and her going through it. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's understandable. You put your hands on somebody's daughter, you know they gonna come, you know? Right. It's between me and her. Mm -hmm. And stuff like that, duh. And me and him fought. And the police was called. Okay. She saw all my, my clothes and all that stuff in the trash. Not in the dumpster, but where the trash at on the walkway. Right, though. Okay. And I work every day. I'm supposed to be at work at 7 o'clock today. And the altercation got you off of work, or it got you, held you back from work, right? Because you got both of the keys to the car. Now let me ask you this. When you got married, you got married according to the laws of God, right? According to the Bible, y'all held, y'all had the Bible and the pastor, or how did y'all get married? That's the thing. We went downtown and did it. Okay. So you know, it wasn't no, it wasn't a sword though. Mm -hmm. The sword wasn't done. Okay. So it was as, did you write? Oh, you right hand and da da da, we wrote and all that stuff though. But you know what, that's called an instrument of covenants. That means that you are going to abide under the laws of marriage, under the, the laws of the Most High God. Now watch, watch what God says about this. Go to Hebrews 13 and 14. Watch what God says about marriage. Because in the, in the black and Hispanic community, one of the biggest things that we have to realize is without marriage in our communities, the whole nation is gonna be destroyed. Right. You understand that? Yeah. But it starts with the black man. You understand? It starts with the black man. Watch this. Watch what God says. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13 and verse 4. Yeah. Marriage is honorable in all. So above all things, God said that marriage to him mm -hmm. is honorable. This is a beautiful thing. Above he all. Above everything. Above boyfriend, girlfriend, above jump offs, above all of that stuff. So prior relationships and anything of that nature, the Lord says that marriage is honorable above all. When she becomes your wife, the Lord is supposed to be in the midst of that thing. Keep reading. And the bed undefiled. Come on. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. The Lord said that he will judge whoremongers and adulterers. Now, I'm, I don't know what's going on outside of the marriage, but God says that marriage is honorable. Mm -hmm. And it starts with the black man. Go to Matthew chapter 19, verse 4. How long you been married, bro? We got married, what, 2018 of May. Okay, so about about a year Going and a couple there, months. Yeah, okay. yeah, some change. Now, why'd you get married? Because I love her, and we've been new with each other since way back. Mm -hmm. And you know, and I just, I was ready for change. I feel that she was the one for me. Mm -hmm. And I've been praying to ask God to bring that special someone that's significant, my, 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 you know, my, my backbone. Uh -huh. That helped me, right? That, that is said in the Bible now. You still feel that way? I do, but you know, the, the, the situation that's going on and stuff like that. It's I a just, tough situation. You know, you know. Watch what God says about this. Because the thing was, y'all were going through it and other people got involved. And I'm sure, you know, this ain't the involved. first time. It's not. Right. Then, then you got the neighbors involved. Watch this, watch what the Bible says, watch this. But remember, it's on you, read. The book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 4. And he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? Mm -hmm. And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. When the twain becomes one flesh, the wife is supposed to be given to the husband. Now, as the father take care of his daughter, now it's the responsibility of the husband to take care of the father's daughter. Does that make sense? You have to take care of your wife like the father took care of his daughter. Does that make sense? The way you can tell that that hasn't happened and the way that we could tell that you have to get back into that is because one of the first people she called was her father. Does that make sense? So you have to take the role of being that protection for her. That's why she called her father. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, read this again. Mm. Mm. And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, uh -huh. and they twain shall be one flesh. In order for two to become one, you have to be like-minded in the laws of the, of the laws of the Most High God. That's the only thing that can change us. I'm going to show right. you. Go to, hold that. Go to Psalms chapter 19 and verse 7. The only way we could change and for her to feel protected in your arms is for you to change. Not change physically or I got a job I can provide for the family. You know, I'm talking to you a little bit different and then every now and then we pop off. The Lord says that your soul is supposed to change. Right. Watch this, read. The book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. Now, can you say you can put your hand on anything and it's perfect? What's, what's perfect? Entire and whole, right? The Lord says that his laws are perfect. Entire, it's whole, it's made just for the black and Hispanic marriage. Read. Converting the soul. Converting, that word means to change the soul. It changes the essence of what's inside of you. We can go to the Christian church on Sunday, come out on a Sunday afternoon and get into a, and get into a fight with our wives again, a physical, because our soul has not been changed. Does that make sense? But when we start keeping the commandments of God, learning who we are and applying that consistently, that changes who our essence is, our soul. Read. The testimony of the Lord is sure, mm -hmm. making wise the simple. It makes wise the simple, meaning the Lord says that the woman, the wife, is a weaker vessel. They gonna pop off, they gonna talk. You get what I'm saying? Until they start to grow and learn the knowledge of God as well. But we have to understand that, you know what? I'm the man, I'ma take a, a bigger role, I'ma step back, and I'm gonna apply the laws of the Most High God. That's why it says, read it again, making what? The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Because in our simple ways, we say, you know what? I'm about to pop off, you popping off, I'ma pop off too. Hey, call your daddy over here. We gonna make, we, we gonna get it popping, right? These things like that. But the Lord says, you know what? No, I have to honor her father. I have to honor my wife. I have to honor myself. This is what said, this is what, when we apply this, it makes the simple man wise. There's a lot of laws for the marriage. There's a lot of laws for the man that we're supposed to be keeping that will make us a wiser people. Right. That you have a role in the house. Your role in the house, and not just in the house, but the entire world is very important. Right. You ever heard of the revolution? Black Panther Party, things of that nature? Who was the, who was the main people leading the way? Was it the men or the women? It was the men. But the women were in support of that thing. Right. That's how we have to get back, but through the laws of God. Right. Watch this, read. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 34 and verse 31. Uh -huh. And ye my flock, the flock of my pasture are men. He says, my flock, the leaders of my pasture, they are men. The Lord is calling you, brother. He wants you to wake up. All of this didn't happen for any reason. You understand? The Lord constructs, he, uh, he authorizes everything to happen in this particular time. Right. You're not here for just any reason. You hearken unto these words, he will change you, brother. Keep reading. And I am your God, saith the Lord God. Okay, let's go back to Matthew 19. Keep reading. The book of Matthew chapter 19 and verse 5. Mm -hmm. And said, for this cause shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave to his wife, mm -hmm. and they twain shall be one flesh. Come on. Wherefore, they are no more twain, but one flesh. And that's one thing we have to understand. We're no more in separate relationships and separate houses. We have to be one flesh as a nation. In what? The commandments of God. Keep reading. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. What God hath joined together in these laws, nobody can break that thing apart. Right. We cannot allow anybody to break that thing apart. Right. Now, in our flesh, for lust, for uh, whatever you know, we call love in the world, mm -hmm. there are certain th reasons we get married to people, but it's not according to the laws of God. I'm going to show you what love is according to the Most High. That no. way you can apply true love to your wife. You understand? Read this. Uh, yep. 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. And then we can get 2 John 6. The book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. Now, yeah. before you can love your wife, who, do you, who must you love first? Almighty. The Almighty and then who? Yourself. Yourself. 
You understand? We're gonna get that as well. If we, it's impossible for us to love anyone else if we don't love ourselves and if we don't love the Most High. Okay, read that. The book of First John, chapter five and verse three. Mm -hmm. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. You see that? It's not a hard thing to keep the commandments. Like, one of the commandments is wearing your beard. You're keeping that commandment. Another commandment is to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Right. Who's closer in your house than you, uh, who's closer to you than your wife? That's your neighbor. You understand? As you love yourself. It's commanded for you to love yourself. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.